What's going on guys, Optical 20 back for another review. This time it's not a figure, but a gadget that I use to do this reviews or photography or videography for that matter. Uh, this is the Gorillapod from um, Joby. And as you can see, this is the one with has arms and it can handle a DSLR even though I don't have one yet, which I do have the 6D, the first 6D, but I don't use that for videos. It sucks for videos. So. I'm tempted to take 90D, so let me know if you guys have a 90D. Is it worth upgrading from M50 to 90D? Because I feel like the only advantage that 90D does have over 50 M50 is the dual pixel autofocus on 4K and the 1080, uh, the 120 frames on 1080. But other than that, I guess that's all I see. What it's, you know, it's bigger. So it's not really a plus because nowadays you want something smaller for your travel and all that stuff. But, you know, yeah, just let me know in the comments. Is it worth upgrading to those who have one? Uh, let's open this up so you can see you can grip it. This is for mostly for vloggers, which I am not. But you can see here, I guess you can wrap it up on a tree if you wanted to. Or you can just stand it. And on the back, it says grip it wrap it stand it so i guess it does have come with the uh the strap and the image here is uh wow it's a it's a 7d it's the 5k version not the 3k the one that you're gonna get the gorilla pod can hold a light and um a gopro at the same time so this is all that you're getting so let's open this bad boy up because my battery is just blinking right now so oops I'm probably doing an overkill here. That's a good I got this from Adorama. It does, I believe, you still get like a $30 rebate from Slick Deals if you get this. And you don't just need it for a camera. You can use this as a stand for if you have lights and all that stuff. So that's why I bought it for, for my flash and I guess a secondary camera that I do have. I'll open this up. Man, this is kind of heavy. So I'm guessing these are the extra hands. So it does have that thingy in here. Um, comes with a pot itself. The gorilla thingy. This is the plate, which a bunch of stuff oh, for GoPro, the strap, and the head. It's not a fluid head, but it's a, it's, it's a head. So let me assemble this and uh, we'll take a look at All this. All right, so as you can see from this current setup, everything's there man so if you're vlogging this would be perfect for you or if you just go out this is a heavy camera this is the uh, canon 6d the og version so you know it's uh it's a bit on the hefty side and you can see i can put the light i have a bigger light here which i'm sure it can accommodate but it's just not gonna you know you might as well put this on the top and as you see the mic it's the video mic pro road or video might go something like that it's a it, i think it's a go so it's a bit slightly um lighter than the one that i'm using the pro but i'm sure it can handle that as well so you can see this one is standing up with no jitter whatsoever it's a heavy lens it's an l series lens the macro and from the side so you can see it's really tight man it it, it is holding up pretty well all right, you see how it's how it's set up here this is the arm that holds this nice microphone here and you can remove this if you want to this plate right here you just insert it and then you insert the um the, the head um the ball joint head there but you can easily remove that um at the bottom you can also see those uh straps that supposedly you can strap this on a tree which i'm not even going to trust that you know if i'm carrying this much of a load on a camera which is the 6d this is way too heavy and the lens is way too expensive for me to strap it on a tree but you know if you hey if you can afford to take that risk good for you and another option that you can do with the light here this is included uh this hands right here so this you can just take it off via thread and this is included in the package so once you remove that you get this two red bars that is exposed so you can just thread anything 
and this one for action cameras is something that you could mount so this could be facing for example you while you know let's say you're shooting something and you want to shoot behind the scenes or whatever so that could be facing you and the uh, main camera which is the 6d could be facing the subject so you know if you want to do something like behind the scenes or whatnot and then you can also mount the mic here if you want to and use that other slot for something else but you see the um, ball joint right here and and i like the color that joby used in here because it's reminiscent of my uh um manfrotto uh, tripods that i have so it just matches color wise so aesthetically it it's it's a lot nicer all right you see how it's how it's set up here this is the arm that holds this nice microphone here and you can remove this if you want to this plate right here you just insert it and then you insert the um the, the head um the ball joint head there but you can easily remove that um at the bottom you can also see those uh straps that supposedly you can strap this on a tree which i'm not even gonna trust that you know if i'm carrying this much of a load on a camera which is the 6d this is way too heavy and the lens is way too expensive for me to strap it on a tree but you know if you hey if you can afford to take that risk good for you and another option that you can do with the light here this is included uh, this hands right here so this you can just take it off via thread and this is included in the package so once you remove that you get this two red bars that is exposed so you can just thread anything and this one for action cameras is something that you could mount so this could be facing for example you while you know let's say you're shooting something and you want to shoot behind the scenes or whatever so that could be facing you and the uh, main camera which is the 6d could be facing the subject so you know if you want to do something like behind the scenes or whatnot and then you can also mount the mic here if you want to and use that other slot for something else but you see the um, ball joint right here and and i like the color that joby used in here because it's reminiscent of my uh um manfrotto uh, tripods that i have so it just matches color wise so aesthetically it it's it's a lot nicer and as you can see right here just a comparison wise the size this is the uh, manfrotto older version of the joby gorilla pod compared to the 5k version that this set comes with this is so much beefier and just bigger overall just to accommodate a larger size as well this is mainly for my flash so when i whenever i just want to you know mount them up they're easy to do so compared to this which is you can actually put a dslr i'm sure you can put a dslr here but i think that's pushing it and you're taking the risk if you do so okay one of the selling points for this camera is obviously for vloggers and one thing you could do is you can use this if you don't have any accessories to put in let's say it's bright outside you got the sunlight you can use them as handles sort of like a, uh, like if you have a stabilizer or those gimbals you know I you, you can use this and kind of let go left and right and I mean it's not meant for that obviously but I'm just saying it's it's one of those things where you could actually take advantage of it okay there you have it guys this is the joby a uh, gorilla pod kit which is i think it's a good price even though i i don't agree with its original price point of 200 dollars. but now that it's it's getting cheaper and cheaper i got this basically for 50 dollars at adorama um they had this um, rebate at slick deals i don't know if it's still going on so you might take advantage of that uh so it was on sale for 85 dollars, and you get 35 dollars cash back for $199, I wouldn't, you know, recommend this whatsoever. I think it's too much. Uh, but for a hundred, maybe it's even better for eighty dollars. You know, if you can get it for eighty. But with a rebate, it's kind of like a no-brainer now for fifty dollars. So if you are in a market for a, you know, like a, a stabilizer like this or a tripod or a gimbal not gimbal but um you can bring anywhere with you this would be a good choice so again thank you for watching guys please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so uh follow me on instagram and i'll see you guys in the next review